Hi, my story time friends. Welcome to online story time with the Red Bank Public Library. I'm Sierra, Miss Sierra, you can call me, and I'm glad that you're here. We're gonna have a good story time today. So first I wanna ask you, are you a person that's full of energy and always gotta be moving, moving, moving and doing something? Or are you the kind of person that's like, mellow and laid back and just kind of chill. I'm more of number two, but I don't know what kind of person you are. Both are great. And no matter what kind of person you are, is it hard sometimes to wait for somebody else when you want to do something? Sometimes it is hard to wait. We're gonna talk about that and read some stories about that today. But first, let's sing a song. We're gonna do our color song. I've got three different colors. These are the colors that I had in my house. So get ready, cause check out what you're wearing. I have on a red shirt and jeans. So I have blue pants on and you see what you have on and here we go. White, white is the color I see. If you're wearing white, then show it to me. Ready? Stand up, turn around, take a bow. Show me your white and sit back down. Here's our next color, black. Black is the color I see. If you're wearing black, then show it to me. Stand up, turn around. Take a bow. Good. Show me your black and sit back down. Last color is red. Red is the color I see. If you're wearing red, then show it to me. Stand up. Stand up. Turn around. Take a bow. Good. Show me your red and sit back down. Nice. Those are some different colors. I don't usually do black and white, but a lot of people have black and white clothes, so why not? All right, I got my first book for you. It's called Slowly, 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 Said the Sloth. It's by Eric Carl. Let's see how this book goes. Do you know what a sloth is? It's an animal that lives in, I think in the forest. And he's very slow and he hangs up upside down like this. So slowly, 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 a sloth crawled along a branch of a tree. What's that? Slowly, 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 the sloth ate a leaf. See all the other animals in the forest with him? That looks like a snake. Oh my goodness, it's that long. Slowly, 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 the sloth fell asleep. <sighs> slowly, 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 the sloth woke up. <sighs> this, I think, is called an armadillo. Some interesting animals here. It says, all day long, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. All night long, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. These are night animals. They're called nocturnal animals that come out at night like bats. Is this a raccoon? I don't know what that is. Even when it rained, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. Boy, he hasn't even moved. 
Why are you so slow? The howler monkey asked one day. But the sloth didn't answer. Why are you so quiet? The caiman asked. That's this kind of bird. But the sloth didn't answer. Oh my goodness, did you see that? Is that a crocodile? Why are you so boring? The anteater asked. But the sloth didn't answer. Hmm. Tell me, said the jaguar, why are you so lazy? The sloth thought and thought and thought for a long, long, long time. Finally, the sloth replied, it's true that I am slow, quiet, and boring. I am lackadaisical, I dawdle and I dilly-dally. I am also unflappable, languid, stoic, impassive, sluggish, lethargic, placid, calm, mellow, laid back, and well, slothful. I am relaxed and tranquil, and I like to live in peace, but I am not lazy. Then the sloth yawned and said, that's just how I am. I like to do things slowly, slowly, slowly. The end. And here's all the animals that were in the book. The anteater, the monkey, a uh, porcupine is poking out there, the jaguar, a uh, puma, armadillo. Nice. And look, the anaconda. How about we sing our snake song? Boa constrictor. It's not an anaconda, it's a boa constrictor, but it's another big, big snake. Let's sing that, ready? One, two, three. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor and I don't like it very much. Here we go. Oh no, oh no. He's up to my toes, he's up to my toes. You gotta touch your toes. You guys should stand up, there's my toe. Oh, gee, oh, gee, he's up to my knees, he's up to my knees. Oh, my, oh, my, he's up to my thighs, he's up to my thighs. Oh, fiddle, oh, fiddle, he's up to my middle, he's up to my middle. Oh, darn, oh, darn, he's up to my arms, he's up to my arms. Oh, heck, oh, heck, he's up to my neck, he's up to my neck. Oh, dear, oh, dear, he's up to my ears, he's up to my ears. Oh, dread, oh, dread, he swallowed my head. He got us, he got us, that's okay. That's a fun song, we haven't done it in a while. Just that book reminded me of a boa constrictor. So that sloth was moving very, very slowly. What do you do when you have to wait for somebody? I thought of something fun that we used to do in my house, and that is count somebody out. Like, this is an example. If you're watching a show and somebody in your family says, oh, I have to go to the bathroom. Stop, stop the show. Stop the show, put it on pause so I can run and go to the bathroom or I can run and grab a snack. And then it's fun while you wait to stop the show and say, okay, we're going to count you out. And then you start counting. You say, on your mark, get set, go. And you count one, two, three, four. You count slow like that, not too fast. And you see how long it takes for them to come back. 
how high can you count? If they, if they come back really fast, then you won't have to count very high. But if it takes them a while, you might have to count for one minute. Do you know how much you have to count to get to one minute? You have to count up to 60. Can you do that? Could you count up to 100? Maybe that's easy for you, or maybe you have to practice, but that's a fun way to practice and see how fast you guys can move. And then you can um, have races sometimes. Anyway, that's a good thing to do. Let's read another book and see what this character does while he's waiting. This is called Llama Llama Red Pajama by Anna Dudney. Do you know this story already? Let's see what happens with Llama Llama. Here we go. It says Llama Llama Red Pajama reads a story with his mama. Mama Llama is cute. Mama kisses baby's hair. Mama Llama goes downstairs. Mama Llama red pajama feels alone without his mama. Baby Llama wants a drink and Mama's at the kitchen sink. Llama Llama red pajama calls down to his Llama Mama. Mama! Mama says she'll be up soon. So Baby Llama hums a tune. That's a good idea to sing a song while you're waiting. <laughs> llama Llama red pajama waiting, waiting for his mama. Mama isn't coming yet. Baby Llama starts to fret. That means he's starting to get worried. Llama Llama red pajama whimpers softly for his mama. Mama Llama hears the phone. And now Baby Llama starts to moan. Aww. Hmm. Llama Llama Red Pajama listens quiet for his mama. What is Mama Llama doing? Baby Llama starts boo-hooing. Llama Llama Red Pajama hollers loudly for his mama. Hollering means to yell. Mama! Uh-oh. Baby Llama stomps and pouts. Baby Llama jumps and shouts. Llama Llama Red Pajama in the dark without his mama. Eyes wide open, covers drawn. <gasps> what if Mama Llama's gone? Llama Llama red pajama weeping and wailing for his mama. <laughs> Will his mama ever come? Mama Llama, run, run, run! <sighs> Look at mama. Oh, oh, my baby, my baby. She is running. What could be the matter? Baby llama, what a tizzy. Sometimes mama's very busy. Please stop all this llama drama and be patient for your mama. Look at him. Little Llama, don't you know that Mama Llama loves you so? Mama Llama's always near, even if she's not right here. Mama Llama Red Pajama gets two kisses from his mama. Snuggles pillow, soft and deep. And baby Llama goes to sleep. Hmm. 
boy. How do you think he did? You know what it means to be patient, to wait nicely until you get what you want or the person comes that you're waiting for or for something exciting to happen. Sometimes it's hard to be patient, but you can do it. Want to see what else I found at my house that's fun? While I have to wait, a glitter jar. Just having a game or something to do to keep yourself occupied while you wait is a good idea. You could look at something like this. Isn't it so pretty? Or guess what else you could do? Look at a book sing a song like he did. There's so many things that you can do. Draw a picture, think of a story in your own head, make up your own story. Practicing patience is something that does take practice and we all have to do it. It's hard for grown-ups to wait for things sometimes too when they're excited, but we can do it. It's a good quality to have to be a patient person. Hey, we're almost done with story time. Let's do a rhyme about books. Put your hands together like this and open it up. Pretend it's a book, ready? Here's our book. Open it wide and look at all the pictures you have inside. Good, now make a ball that's big and round and throw it in the air. Woo! Catch it. Okay, now roll it on the ground. There it goes. Now we make an umbrella like this and hold it up high to catch all the raindrops that fall from the sky. And now make a roof, like a pointy roof. Good. And now make a bed, this flat bed where we snuggle in tight and rest our head. Go to sleep like baby llama. Ooh. Wake up time. Wake up, I wanna sing one more song before we go. How about we do a little twinkle twinkle since we're talking about bedtime. Get your fingers ready, here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Twinkling stars, twinkling glitter. I'm having too much fun today. All right, friends. Thanks for coming to Online Storytime. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.